but in the morning um we normally have as you see we would have had a little bit of cuddles um matt normally wakes up at quarter past six for work so me and Maisie will just have cuddles for about 45 minutes and um, sometimes she will go off and explore um we don't shut her in the bedroom at night but she does go around um what am i on about we don't shut her in the bedroom at night we do have the door slightly open but she doesn't leave um i've only known her to leave a handful of times and that would be to go downstairs to the little box she pretty much stays in bed but sometimes in the morning she will get up and have a little explore um just while she's waiting for me to get up and come and feed her but sometimes between sort of quarter to seven to seven i will come downstairs and um i will actually feed her so as you would have just seen i was just washing up her bowls this is just her water bowl um and then she's got identical bowls for her wet food and dry food throughout the day she will just have biscuits um and then she will have her wet meal in the evening which you will see later but yeah while i'm doing that she normally is just at my feet the whole time aren't you you're hungry and meow and she was in that box a moment ago as well are you hungry curly but yeah here's her bowl so at the moment for her dry food we just feed her what the breeder fed her um and that is royal canine i don't know i'm guessing she specifically fed her the kitten one um so yeah that's what we've got and ironically it's even got a photo of a rag doll on um, obviously that's not done on purpose but yeah and the breeder just used to give her biscuits to leave out during the day and then one wet food at night I don't know whether we might start her on a raw food diet at some point but for now we're just carrying on this until we figure that out but she's now so she's five months old so I give her between sort of 35 grams and 40 grams of wet um of dry food it says on the back here for their age they do need about 48 grams to four, well 46 grams to 48 grams and one wet food but she never eats it plus she does get uh treats throughout the day so let's just wait this out yeah so she's got 35 grams today obviously if she eats it all and she wants more then i will always give her more just because i know she can have more for her age i don't know why the camera is so bad at this angle but yeah she's just meowing at my feet again hungry girl but i know a lot of people um it's quite controversial about uh dry food but i always just put a little bit of water in there um because they say cats don't get enough water so in the dry food i just like to put a little bit in just like that and it does get a bit soggy but i think she likes it come on then there you go girly
later in the day now and I've just come outside for some outside time with Maisie. Um, I've only done this for two days, let her out, but she enjoys it. Please ignore the rubbish bag there. Um, I need to put that in the bin. But yeah, she's not too keen on the grass. <gasps> what are you doing? It's about lunchtime now and she came out yesterday at lunchtime as well um, but she wouldn't go on the grass so I don't think she will today either. What's that voice? Oh, it's my alarm because I just did a uh, Covid lateral flow test and negative. I do not have Covid. Not that I have symptoms. But in the UK, you can now um, get lateral flow tests to take twice a week. Um, so yeah, oh, she's going on the grass. Hello. You know, are you having a nice time? Are you having a nice time? What's that bang? But I'm going to order her a harness today so I can bring her out here and I feel a bit more comfortable. Not that she can climb the fence yet or anything, but it's indoors in there, Maisie. while we have lunch just to give her something that's got a bit of liquid in uh, throughout the day and then sometimes she'll eat a few more biscuits as well uh, this just encourages her to have something at lunch time Thank you. 